Hi YouTube! So I am here to um, make a video for you guys. Um, I am going to be eating some soup that I um, got from, well I went out to eat at um, World Centric. Maybe that's the Anyway, I went out to eat with my stepmother and I ordered some chicken tortilla soup, which was actually, I'm gonna put my hair up. Put my hat on. Um, which is like a centric, um, a, um, it's like very modern, like very upscale, classy, very modern, but at the same time, very, very beautiful. So I ordered some chicken tortilla soup. Um, I'm actually gonna throw some lemon and I'm, I'm gonna throw some lime in my soup. Lime, lime, lime. Lemon and lime. I'm gonna do lemons, lemon juice and lime, limes, or yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's do some. Now we are going to get some lemon. Okay, let's turn on this light here. Now we are going to get some of our salt. And Have my spoon I'm going to mix in whatever is in here now. Oh yeah. I let this sit in my refrigerator for about three days because the first two days just it didn't taste as good as I really wanted it to taste. Mm. But now it's in the spot. Okay. I have been craving some type of vegetable, so I'm going to eat a jalapeno with cream cheese. Mm. My little hands are getting dirty, so I had to wipe those off. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's good that is good stuff there I'm gonna grab a couple of crackers and really just about two crackers I have Spaghetti. Oh, almost okay. So I have my red beans and rice over there for just days that it's cold outside and you really want to just keep your household warm. Mm. Mm hmm. So 
this is really good. Ooh. So when I first tasted it, within the first day or so, I just couldn't eat it. My stomach wasn't healed enough, I guess. Mm. Okay. So that's all I'm going to be eating with that today. two jalapenos left over and they are in foil so I just put those in foil and put them in the refrigerator Ooh. I feel like I had like this huge meal and I didn't eat very much As much as I, uh, I could eat a toaster. <coughs> I just really don't feel good. Um, I apologize, you guys. So, I did let my soil kind of I did let my soil kind of dry out so that I can put in these black garlic and this fresh garlic um, naturally cured superfood black garlic is best appreciated when it is eaten just peeled and eat just peel and eat enjoy the highly sought after delicacy Okay, my eyes are watering and everything, you guys. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so what I'm going to actually do is we're going to pop the top. <laughs> and so I am going to actually take one of these black one of these uh black garlics one of these garlics um take one of these uh black garlics out put it there by my skinny syrup we are actually going to take this over to the trash can 
which our trash can is right here. And we are going to peel our black garlic. This is what she looks like. She's very soft. Very, very soft. Okay. And because <clears throat> I personally don't eat um, garlic, I will be planting this black garlic right here. Garlic, this garlic, I'm going to be planting this garlic. We're going to give her a teaspoon, two teaspoons of water. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going to take out my party cup, which I'm going to put on my tea bags. And Wolf's brand chili. Then I have a cup of water in my party cup, and I'm just going to water it. Okay. So we are going to keep it in this container for a little while and kind of just wait till she blooms and hopefully we are going to have some pretty awesome garlic. Um, I'm only going to plant one in this container for right now. Um, I do have um, a lot of these. Um, so, and seeing as I don't eat garlic, <clears throat> I'm just going to put it, I have my garlic powder and my bouillon um, up there. Um, which also, uh, home makes, you can prepare homemade soup with bouillon, which is kind of like, oh, what if you have, um, weight loss surgery or something um, um, that would kind of like settle your stomach to where you wouldn't want to um, throw up continuously <sighs> just continuously throwing up your food continuously throwing up your food so um, yeah that's what's going on with that so we are going to um, actually get a black marker a black marker here and then we will be we will make a little miniature sign and just put we're going to put garlic BLK. Um, and then we are just going to sort of set it inside our soil. The next go around, I will definitely be putting in like a little um, tool that kind of just says what it is, or uh, a little like pogo stick. The pogo stick is what I'll really put in there here in a couple of days, just so it just kind of stands out and I'll make it like a little paper plane or something and it'll, you know, stand up on its own. So I'm going to go put this under the grow light. that I have in my bedroom.
Just a second. You guys, my room is still a mess. So just bear with me here. Um, so everything is looking really good. Um, so I'm going to put this black garlic next to my broccoli. And because I have my Christmas presents right here, I'm going to put these right here. Put both of my Christmas presents on top of the curtain. Sorry, you guys, I am like one loofah away from freaking <sighs> just not being able to be me anymore. <sighs> that is my couch door, where my Halloween costumes are. I'm going to bring this closer to my grow light. And then I am going to set my grow light up. Let me look at my broccoli, see what's going on in here. Broccoli is looking good. So uh, what I'm going to do is put my grow light on, okay, so it's been under light for the past few hours, my cilantro and everything, so what I'm going to actually do is probably take my grow light off of my cilantro and put it down where my garlic's at. put this on my garlic and then I have I'll take my other two grow lights and put them on my broccoli this one over. okay so that looks like it's gonna be pretty good okay so now what we're gonna do is we are going to use our orange light which promotes um, growing Okay, I need to change colors here. Okay, so our orange light is what's going to promote a growth of the plants. I'm going to grab some water.
so we're just going to pour a little bit of water in our plants here. So these actually look really good. My peppermint plants, I have been watering for, My peppermint plants I've been watering for a while, or I've been watering, not for a while, but I have been watering them. So I'm just hoping that they're wanting to grow. Yeah, they look, they look good. They smell so delicious. Ah, oh, peppermints. My peppermint plants smell so good. I really want to take one of my peppermint plants. So I have actually four peppermint plants. And so these two, I kind of want to put in the bathroom, but they are actually food that can be eaten. So I'm like, I don't know if I want to put these in the bathroom or not because they can be ate. Um, but I do kind of want to maybe put them in the kitchen just for a trial run. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so... My peppermint are in my windowsill um, on top of a, my uh, grow light stand. Um, and um, I will be taking care of them as much as possible. This is Gypsy Sweet Peppers. And um, basil and cilantro. Um, that is an extra toothbrush that I bought my boyfriend, which isn't a kid's toothbrush. It's like a mini electric toothbrush, but it's an electric toothbrush. So I do kind of like have that one around. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on there. Um, I have every, I have my grow light on. Oh, my grow light needs to go to my garlic so I have my broccoli on the grow light and my black garlic peppermint gypsy pepsir, pepsi um, gypsy peppers and um, basil cilantro and mint so i can't wait for them to start growing it's going to be like one of the best experiences okay so let me take y'all in here towards my closet now i know that we went through my closet um a couple of times already or once per se um, once we've been through my closet once so my my mission for today is I'm going to 
I want to organize my clothes by season and by um, um, playful outfits and then also by jeans, by shorts, by um, uh, summer clothing. I just want to um, organize my closet, my bathing suits. I just want to have it organized. And then after that, after I kind of get this a little bit more organized, then tomorrow's mission is we will fold the clothes on the bed. There's like tons of clothes on my bed. I look like I have eight kids and I am never home to be able to uh, properly do laundry. So it's like horrible right now. So let's see what's going on here. This is long sleeve, long sleeve. These are short sleeve, brand new. This is a brand new, no boundaries sequin um, shirt that I bought from Walmart. I wore one time and that was it. Then I also bought this green top, um, uh, sleeveless, um, has like paper thin uh, string top um, over the shoulders. But it isn't a like in the house type of cami. It's like a really nice, you know, you could pair this with a blazer, blazer and it would become something that could be like really professional for outside. So it's a really cute. I've worn that once. Okay, so long sleeve dress. This is a satin or satin satin um a satin no a velvet um top that's actually really 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 cute um a velvet top that i bought that i bought from walmart no boundaries it was a cheap little a cheap little shirt that um i did buy for um i I bought this for a few friends to just be able to have like a really good time when we went out. So that's kind of where the velvet, the velvet top came in. But this top is a short sleeve. And then this top, which is the original top, um, is the long sleeve. So the long sleeve velvet uh, top is the original, which, um, This is what I bought from Walmart. It's Walmart. Uh, it's a Walmart No Boundaries um, pink satin top. It just kind of reminds me of someone having like a very beautiful pink couch that I have always just, I've always wanted that couch, you know? Like that's what it reminds me of. And then I have a... Um, Rydale jacket? No. Riverdale. River Riverdale jacket. And I came across this jacket at Party City. And I'm just obsessed with it. These are this is a mustard colored blazer. So that is um that is that is a like something to kind of dress up my outfits in. This is oh this is also like a little top that would dress up my outfits in, but the thing with this is where they sew where they sew it together at right here. It it seems like it just kind of it wasn't sewn together there, I guess. Cuz it doesn't look like it unraveled. It just looks like it wasn't sewn together at all. From what I'm seeing, but anyway, I'm I'm not a I'm not a seamstress seamstress seamstress, so I just wouldn't know. But but if anyone knows, please feel free to message me and let me know. So I'm actually gonna throw this into uh, my box with clothes that is going out for donations. So I already, oh, excuse me, I already threw out two boxes for donations. 
and now I have two more okay so I have a squirt a squirt and a shorts and then okay so squirt shorts and um, some more shorts dress okay this is a sports top for working out this is a this actually is a really cute top I think I wore it once as a shirt or dress it could be wear, worn as a shirt or a dress let's see what the brand is this is from rue 21 size 2 x and this i will probably be giving away here pretty soon so i have my sequin shirt i have my satin sequin shirt or satin shirt and my satin shirt and my sequin shirt and then i also have a short sleeve satin shirt um which I absolutely adore. Then I have a a a fabricated a fabric, a very uh uh, uh just a fabric um, that is more close to like just a fabric. I would just call fabric. <laughs> it's fabric. Um. So I have a fabric shirt. So there's that. And then I have this right here, which is long sleeve. So I'm gonna put with the long sleeve shirts. This is a long sleeve bodysuit with pink flowers on it it's a bodysuit so freaking cute so cute the whole bodysuit of it is just like oh my gosh i am a, i am obsessed with it then this is a peach shirt that i actually stole from my sister years and years and years ago i stole this from my sister um it was like a very dressy top very um peachy and very cute so i really really did like it it's got deodorant on it it does need to be rewashed it's like it's like i don't have a freaking washer and dryer around here so i'm gonna throw that on the floor as well you can wash that here in a couple of hours or here in a minute once i jump out of here okay so this is a tierra sky 3x 24w by 26w um top which i will be giving away um so my stepmom actually bought this for me um it was just more of a relaxed um type of outfit you're a long ways from being six years old little girl you know the last time she bought me clothes we, i was six <laughs> um and so um this is the shirt um it is very clean very nice i don't think i've even tried it on but i will definitely try it on just to try it on but i am going to put this in my donation pile um and actually so this satin shirt i've had for a very long time which I didn't really like the shirt, but it was like the rose colored pink that I was really looking for and what I was kind of going for. So I was like, oh, let me just buy this shirt. It's a no boundary shirt and it is from Walmart. It's very cute. Um, uh, I like it. I think I've probably put it on once and I never wore it outside. <laughs> I tried it on inside the house one time and never wore it again after that. Um, I'll probably be giving away this maroon shirt as well. Um, I think I've, I've worn it once. Yeah. Um, I've worn this maroon shirt once. Um, no, maybe once or twice. I wore it out. It was really cute. I really, really liked it. Um, so I think I've worn that twice. Um, then I also have this satin, black satin shirt um which i'm going to put in my donation pile they all are from um no boundaries and i absolutely love walmart i have nothing against walmart walmart is the bombest place ever but this is going in my donation pile as well i felt like those are more like kitty childish uh type of outfits but also outfits that i really did like as well this is a gildan dry blend 2x um 2xl um 
t-shirt, white tee, black tee, blue tee, a white tee, blue tee, white tee, blue tee, white tee, blue tee, white tee, blue tee. Um, I'm gonna put that in my donation pile as well. First, I'm going to message my best friend because he actually came down for the weekend with my other best friends. So I have two best friends, two best guy friends from the country. Um, they came um, for the weekend to just kind of um, oh, they were driving a truck. They were working. So they came for a day, a day, the weekend, the day, whatever. Um, so they came and, um, just really, we, I think we drank and had just like a really good time. And I was just so happy that they were able to come from the country to visit me. So that's just really what was a treat for me. This is a, uh, gray spotted, um, uh, shirt I think it has a it has a cross on the inside and it's bedazzled and this is long sleeve so I'm gonna put this here that is probably my favorite shirt and then um uh this is a this is from um Stitch Fix uh this is a Bailey Collections this is in size extra large. Um, I do like this shirt, but it is a little plain at the same time. And I I am absolutely into plain shirts. I, I do um, just do my little diets and really like my, um, like these plain shirts. They're really cute. It has a little twist at the bottom because it has the little knot right here. It has the little knot, you know. It's just like so freaking cute um i'm gonna put that in my donation pile as well i feel like i'm getting rid of my whole closet this is a tiara sky 2x 20w by 22w and this is a just like a black long sleeve shirt that has like the peekaboo shoulders the peekaboo shoulders on each side. Super cute. Um, I'm going to also put this in my to-go pile. Not my to-go pile, but I'm going to put that in my donation pile. So right now we have two X's and XL's all in our donation pile. And I do love to size up. I am a sizer upper type of person. Um, so yeah, I just, that's what I like to do. Um... So here is a gray shirt is from Tierra Sky. It is a 3X24 by 25. Um, I'm going to also put this in my donation pile. Um, if you are liking any of these clothes, please let me know. Do not hesitate to ask and I will send them your way. Let me see what size this shirt is. This satin pink shirt. This is a extra large. So extra large and... Um, 2XL and 3XL are all in the, all in that pile there. This is probably my favorite blazer. It is a medium 18W. This is by City Chick. And it is see-through right here. So freaking cute. Um, and the back has like the little ruche, the ruche right here. And it is also see-through right here. See-through, see-through. Uh, we're also going to put that in our wash pile because it has deodorant stains on the armpits. Okay. This is a blazer which is a 2x by rouge the rouge collection um it, it comes with a belt and then i also have extra belts that i can kind of dress it up with if i chose to so this is going to go with my blazers um this right here is a mfc um mfc crop top sweater so it kind of like shows your belly um um it's really cute. I like it. I think I've worn it once. Um, this is my uh, long sleeves man shirt, which I think I got from my dad. Um, it is a 3XL um, 
a 3XL shirt. Uh, it is, I had to borrow a shirt from him because I had to go work a banquet and it called for black tie, black shoe, black shoes, black tie, and I didn't have any black shoes, black tie, so I had to ask my dad if I could borrow one of his black uh, long sleeve um, shirts. It was in a 3X, so it was really big on me, but it was really pretty at the same time, so I did actually wear it a couple of times um this is what uh oh okay so we're gonna put all our hangers over hither and then we'll get to those here in a minute this is a really cute halter top um shirt that's really flowy at the bottom kind of like shows your little belly and then I have uh, the like wings that go to it which are the uh, um, which are the um, arm sleeves arm sleeves arm sleeves okay so this is my Rugrats dress so I'm gonna put that there this is a dress up short sleeve shirt. This is a, I, I bought a few of these shirts. I didn't really, like I wasn't crazy about them, but I, I, I was okay with them. This is Paper Moon. Um, it's really cute. It has like the pocket in the front and it is blue and white stripes and it has the yellow at the top so it's like a little bumblebee it's really actually very cute so this is a short sleeve shirt and then this is a long sleeve uh a, sh a pant set that i have i just bought that in cheetah long sleeve cheetah pants Suit. Then I have a ugly Christmas sweater. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's my ugly Christmas sweater. Then this is a pantsuit with a long sleeve shirt that's a little short on the belly area. Um, this is another MFC um, sweater. And then this is a Dream On Dreamer shirt by Hate Hate Us. Hate Us. It is a 2X. Really cute. I think I've worn this once. I think this is actually kind of cute. Reminds me of like a Led Zeppelin type of like shirt. Really cute. I don't know anything about Led Zeppelin, but my uh, friends in high school were into rock and roll, so I like to support them. Okay, so this is time and true a 2xl just plain black shirt which i will keep for work this is a blue heart with a tie-dye blue heart um in gray so this is a tie-dye blue shirt in gray really really freaking cute and I'm going to put that in my donation pile. Um, I bought that from Walmart for um, in size 2XL. So I bought that for, uh, from Walmart. Um, blue tie-dye heart. Super, super cute. So this is a maroon long sleeve shirt top. Um, it is actually very, very cute, and it it has a um, it has a um, top. It has like a a uh, a little like thing that goes around the um, neck. Kind of reminds you of like uh, the Fifth Element. Oh. I just love that movie. Love it. Love the fifth element. So that'll go with that. This shirt is a Emory Park shirt. Um, short sleeve, uh, ivory, 
type of top really spanking cute um it has a little hole in it so i may throw it away um i may donate it i may throw it away i don't know someone could uh sew this and then it could be used as a top or they could just continue to wear it with the little hole there throw their hair all over it and it'll be fine because no one will notice a hole in your shirt if you have your hair over it <laughs> no one will notice um so we're gonna throw that in our pile of holy clothes holy clothes okay this okay so my construction and my bathing suit top then i have a see-through um a see-through dress so i'm gonna put that by my dresses and then let's see what's going on here here goes a bathing suit but that was my swimsuit top my bathing suit tops uh this is just a around the house type of dress and i think there's a cu a cut at the bottom of it so here is the cut and i'm not sure if this is done intentional or if this was done unintentional let's see anyway but there is a little hole right here like a little you know it was cut a little bit right here Cut, 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 right there at the bottom. Um, I did really like it, so I just kept it and wore it around the house like a little freak. But this is in a size 2X, uh, no, in a size XL, extra large, but it is really big, so it doesn't look like extra large. It looks like really big. Okay. So this is a dress. That was my dresses. This is a dress. I'm going to put that with my, okay, so this is a black dress, but uh, the arm, the shoulder area is all see-through and then it covers the bottom of your body. Um, then this is a tan um, dress. Um, no, a mustard. Mustard dress, untanned. Um, that is probably my favorite outfit. This is a peach colored Zenin Premium 2XL dress really cute i wear this around the house so it doesn't really get much play um this is a polka dotted blazer ashley blue 3x blazer and i just bought this because i thought it was like a really cute blazer and 3x um um it, it is actually really cute once you put it on and it it just is very beautiful so this is also a polka dot sh polka dotted shirt and it is short sleeve and very beautiful design then we have our tutu and our excuse me our tutu our pirate hat and our pocahontas pants suit then we have our black um dress to go out and like have a date night and be a hooker at nighttime. Then I also have another um, dress um, that's really cute. Uh, well, it's not really cute. I just wear it around the house. It was a size 3X. It's really freaking big. Um, you just wear it around the house and like you don't, when you just don't go anywhere, you know, you just wear it around the house, you don't go anywhere. So um, I keep this around because I stay home a lot and I don't really go out. But when I do go out, I do like to dress up a little bit so here are my jumpsuits my ashley jump uh, my ashley jumpsuits like my ashley furniture um this is a size let's see so it doesn't actually say the size let's see let's see okay so this is in a size xl and it is black and white jumpsuit in a size extra large and then this is a um this is from sheen yeah this is from sheen and it is a money dress in very beautiful it's money dress okay so i'm gonna put my jumpsuits there oh my money dress is going to go with my mustard dress 
Um, then here is a long sleeve black shirt, very pretty, <clears throat> which I got from Walmart and I'm, I am obsessed with. Um, this is a Zenin premium dress, which I got from Stitch Fix as well. And if you don't know who Stitch Fix is, they send um, clothes to your home and you can buy them from a stylist who sends you clothes. So a stylist will send you clothes and ask you, hey, is this something you're into? If you like it, you can buy it. If you don't like it, you can send it back and then they will credit you or send your money back, depending on how many items you actually send back to them. And that's kind of how Stitch Fix works. It's really cute. This is a cheetah long, a long, um, a long dress. <laughs> it's just a, a long, uh, slinky type of very beautiful cheetah dress but not like slinky slinky but it's just like really cute long cheetah dress um then i have a yellow bohe bohemian rhapsody type of dress like it's just colorful like you're going to hawaii or somewhere like you're going to be a bahama mama somewhere looking like uh just like a fat kid who loves cake it's just so cute and that's um one of my favorite dresses i think i've worn it once but it is actually really big like i'm a big person and it's big on me like so i'm just like wait what you know like come on uh, so yeah this is a jumpsuit um a black and white jumpsuit in a size 3xl um it, it, the brand is Just Be. I'm not sure where I got this from, but it is quite big. Or maybe I was just big, but whatever's clever. Okay, so that is an, a jumpsuit. It's really cute. Then I have, then I have a blue Hawaiian, a uh, flowery, a blue flowery Hawaiian flowery uh, type of jumpsuit as well. And then I have a short set, uh, size 4XL sheen um, jumpsuit. And then I have a orange uh, cargo type of pants jumpsuit, which are really big. Then I also have the green um, uh, cargo pant type of uh, pants. Um, jumpsuit and this one is actually really pretty because it has like the flowing thing that go across the arms so it's really really pretty <sighs> and then I have my graduation outfits right here so now that we have all of that kind of like um, sorted out our next mission is going to be um, let me get my wigs so I have all my wigs on this side of the uh, closet and I'm actually going to throw these down here because I am going to actually hang up my wigs right here where my fanny pack is and my medical mask. So my medical mask and my fanny packs, um, I'm going to set them um, or just put my, I'll probably put my wigs right next to them and just kind of like scoot them down a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And now that we have all that situated, I am going to start, I'm going to grab, dun, 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 dun. to actually fill these up with something I'm just not sure what I'm either going to leave this down on the ground or I'm going to pick it up and put it up on top of this uh, bench area here uh, and then I'm just going to bring in my kids stand um, my kids uh, pedestal and then I'm going to put this up here and then I'm just going to be able to reach everything by my pedestal I think that'll be a little bit easier it'll save on space as well um, because this is more like bathing suits and lingerie and and um, socks and panties. Socks and panties I'll probably put on the lower drawer because I'll be able to reach them. And then the top two drawers I'll do, um, so I'll do bottom drawer, 
um, panties, socks, bras, middle drawer, uh, 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 lingerie, uh, top drawer, uh, bathing suits. So I'll probably do it that way. But then again, at the same time, I'm not too particularly sure how I'm going to put these all in here, but I will be getting to it in just a couple of momentos. And here are some of my wigs. Um, I'm trying to debate whether I'm going to just put them on the hangers like so, or I'm going to get like some type of hanger that hangs the whole head on there. And then we'll just like lay the hair out very, like very beautiful. So uh, that's kind of like where I'm de where my debates at right now. And then I also have, um, a drawer full of blank checks because who doesn't keep money in their sock drawer? Um, only for someone to find it, you know, like who doesn't keep money in their sock drawer? That's what I do. So, um, yeah, I keep money in my sock drawer because that is the, or I keep blank checks in my, I keep blank checks in my, in my drawers in my bedroom. So yeah, that's kind of like how I'm living. Like I'm living like a baller. Blank checks that haven't been used in years. What girl? Yes. But anyway, we ain't going to go there. Okay, so I'm going to get my wigs and I'm going to actually put those on top of the boxes that are down here on the, on my closet floor that has my uh, bags that I use to sell my products or send out my products that have sold, in other words. So that's what I'm kind of doing with that. And then the, also the top drawer, um, so that's like bathing suits and cosplay is what I'll put in these drawers, cosplay outfits and things like that. Um, these are my MFC stickers that cover my nipples, um, like a nipple pad, like a girl who just had a baby and they are trying to cover their nipples. Uh, that's what that is for. And then let's see. So all these drawers are empty. I have my, I have my baby rubber bands in here. Um, which are absolutely fantastic to keep around for whenever you want to do your hair or anything. Um, my mom used to do my hair with uh, little baby rubber bands. And then I grew up and turned into a biatch. <sighs> I grew up and turned into a biatch. Anyway. And then so I also have some nipple covers. Uh, MFC nip star and circled nipple covers that cover my nipples whenever I want to wear like a see-through shirt or anything um, I can just slap those on there and it won't be as revealing as just turning around and being like oh I'm going to moan you you know like slow down sister I'm like what what but anyway okay so there's that we have a donation pile we have our drawers in here and everything I didn't want to put my drawer in here until after I finished uh sorting out my clothes and I still have a pile of laundry on my bed right now a pile of laundry just piles and piles of laundry that I need to go through so that is tomorrow's mission I have my bras all over the floor um which I will be going through my bras here in just a minute and putting them up there because I have bigger titties they're not for the little titty committee but I mean I'm not completely against the little titty committee they can come like party with me any time of the day week year month the night i don't know but let's be friends <laughs> but anyway um so that's kind of like what i'm doing right now um i want to see if since you're here you know i'll probably change these out again here in a little while but i can see if I can get my bathing suits down from the top of here. See, I have an old bathing suit and I just had someone come over and visit and they wanted to wear one of my bathing suits, but they decided that they wanted to wear my favorite bathing suit. And I was just like, why would you want to wear my favorite bathing suit when I have a, a and you're a smaller girl at that, when I have a, a bathing suit that will fit you for smaller girls and um here it is this is for like smaller girls and 
And so uh, it's an old navy swimsuit. You can wear this one. But she wanted to wear my favorite bathing suit and put her little Pinocha in my favorite bathing suit. And I was actually quite mad about that because I was like, why would you want to put your favorite? Why would you want to put your Pinocha? Your Pinocha. Okay, and then if I turn my back and then I turn my back again and you still have my favorite fucking uh, thong on or my favorite underwear on or my favorite fucking, you have my favorite shit on and, 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 and now your Pinocha's all over my shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? No. But anyway, um, that's why I have a smaller bathing suit in here for smaller people. Hello, sister. But she decided to want to wear my fucking favorite bathing suit. Now I have to burn the motherfucker. I have to burn the motherfucker because your ass was on it. Um, and this is a pink top, a hot pink top that um, I bought from Walmart a few years ago. I'm going to actually kind of put that in the donation pile because it's only the top. It's not like it's the rest of the body, you know, it's just the top of the body. I don't even know where the bottoms are. So this is lingerie. Lingerie, 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 lingerie. The, the titties come out on this one. Like, the titties be popping, sis. Lingerie, lingerie, lingerie. And then this is um, lingerie type of stocking. Well, it's a stocking, so I have my two stockings right here. I have a green stocking and a white stocking. Okay. So, we're going to actually take... Uh-oh. We're going to take all of our lingerie out of this box right here and put it up here and then we're going to take our underwear socks and underwears and bras and put it down here at the bottom and then our lingerie we'll go through here in a minute and then we have a let's see this is a sheet this is a sheet a sheet a sheet a gold sheet a gold sheet i'll throw that on my bed as well kaboom gold sheet okay and then i also have this red wig red red black and uh red wig which i'm gonna put with the rest of my wigs right here i have gray white purple um uh rainbow colored um my black and white my gray my white uh black i have a lot of freaking um wigs okay so my lingerie my stockings and then my uh blue and white bandanas that are super cute which i'm gonna probably put them in the holes right here and have them hanging or probably well probably no maybe i don't know i'm gonna uh, i'll figure it out so that's what's going on in here and then i also have my um uh little curlers like one would wear like <laughs> years ago you just kind of like put those in your hair and then like if you have sh bone straight hair they will curl your hair at night whenever you sleep with these on they're really pretty i got them from like pink i believe and they are polka dotted pink outfits and then i also have the super hair glue bond for putting on your um wigs but i use it for my eyelashes so that is what she is doing over there. This is a nipple cover, an Old Navy tag for some clothes that I bought for reselling. Um, let's see what's going on in here. Here goes another tag for some clothes that I bought for reselling, which I do need to put on my clothes. And then here is a uh, um, an, uh, another curler. And then this just has a bunch of face stuff, oral gel, face, face, just a bunch of face wash, uh, nail polish, perfume. Um, put this in my sex box right there. That is my sex, uh, my sex toy box, my sex box. Um, so I can have all my little goodies in there. And then um, I have my Hawaiian sunscreen, which I, I have a bunch of sunscreen, but I also have sunscreen remover just in case um one is uh in the mood to have to remove a tan um um i have tan remover and then i also have a uh, nail dryer and nail polish remover which you know they all kind of work together to do certain things and um that's when the light bulb goes off Boop. 
and then you don't wear your big mama gran granny patties granny patties grandma patty grandma petunia i don't know but anyway there's that okay so all this is looking pretty good um what i'm going to want to do is put my line array right here on top of my suitcase and grab my stockings and put them in my blue containers my blue um uh cloth holders and then I'm going to also put my blank checks in there, my nipple covers, my bedazzled um, MFC sticker. This is a Jolly Rancher. Um, this is $15 from my couch surfer. That is her bus pass. This is a white peel. This is a tape measurer. Um, these are um, these are tags from clothes that I bought. Um, these are tags. This is oh party city costume um, uh, Receipts a receipt girl receipt from party city sister Okay, so let's see how this uh oh spaghetti yo if this would even fit up here possibly maybe oh. Okay, so there she goes Okay, so that looks actually pretty good, and it does go pretty high, um, and so I won't be able to reach it, but once I bring in my, um, once I bring in my step stool, I'll be able to reach everything really easily, and so this is, I like this up here because it's going to give me a little bit more space in my closet to utilize everything, and then my panty socks and balls are right here, it'll be easy me to just grab my panty socks and bras out of here just like really super de duper easy just to grab them so um that'll probably stand there then I have my uh bathing suits up here which I'm going to take my bathing suits out and bring them down to the bottom and put my lingerie at the top probably or maybe maybe not um then I have my cosplay outfit. So, okay, now that this looks all good, this is part two to um, fixing my closet. Um, and I wouldn't say just like part two of just fixing my closet, you know, but it's part two to just kind of like getting my closet together a little bit more and a little bit more organized. I've been needing to go through this for a while now, and I'm happy that I'm able to do it with you guys on YouTube. I will holler at you later. Peace out.